styles and what they bring to the table, what you've seen from them in practice? You know, it's a little tough with Coker mainly because he's been hurt. You know, he got hurt uh, right off the bat too. So uh, last week was his first full week of practice. Perfect world, you know, we wish we had a couple more weeks to get him ready. But uh, we just don't have that afforded to us right now. And uh, DeAndre's been on the scout team pretty much ever since uh, we started the season. So, you know, we have a little work to do there too. And uh, just try to get those guys caught up and uh, you know, go from there. Is this feeling like 2004? Well, you know, uh, there are some parallels, certainly. Yeah, some parallels. hope the outcome's the same. But uh, there's some parallels. And, you know, it, it's uh, you go into every season knowing there are going to be some challenges and some difficulties. And how do you deal with them? And that's, that's, that's where our focus is right now. What are we going to do to come up with some solutions? And you know, the good news is we still have a lot of good players on our football team that are healthy and will be playing this Saturday. And you know, we've got to play to our strengths right now and get our bells to catch up. Adam's a guy who's he's very hard. He's a very physical runner. Given the circumstances now, is there there's something you can do to sort of get him to, I guess, protect himself a little more? Or is that just not something you want to do with a guy? I, mean, I don't know how you tell a player to you know, change his style. I don't know how you do that. Yeah. So put him in a body suit or something like that. I don't know, but uh, it might slow him down. Might not be a good idea. What did you see uh, with your offensive line there at the the end? Well, first let's just start off. Why were they? Why did you struggle to run against Arizona? What was the? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I said this the other night. It felt like we were kind of climbing a hill the whole night, and that's you know I've been in games like that before. We all have. It's football, and uh, you know if you want to go right to the start, I mean they did what they do. They they tried to take the run away. A lot of teams tried to do that against us, and. Uh, that's why some of the passing plays were working pretty well. And that's just kind of how football works. So you, know, you, you pick your spots. And, you know, but when you're looking at a, a three touchdown deficit in the first half, it just kind of you know, throws everything out, out of whack. So it's not much fun. And, uh, you know, for in general terms, you know, it was, uh, hopefully this will be a learning experience. We were on the road, uh, you know, a tough environment and tough in, in given the circumstances that we put ourselves into. So, you know, it's just not much fun playing football in that situation. It's going to happen. And all that being said, you know, we, we came within, uh, you know, a blocked extra point or a tipped extra point from, from going ahead taking the lead in the fourth quarter. So, yeah, it's not like we rolled over. I mean, the team team fought back, uh, did what they had to do, and then we just couldn't get it get it uh, closed down. A little bit like the Ohio, or Iowa State game in 2002. You know, we different circumstances totally yet. Here we're in the fourth quarter. We couldn't quite get it done. Uh, so, you know, the thing we have to do now is move forward and go into that last series. I, you know, if, if you want my opinion, the critical play in the last series, we, we gave up a sack on second and three or four, um, where we had, you know, uh, we were about, you know, to me, a second away from a 15-yard completion. You know, it was wide open. We couldn't get the ball out, and uh, so all of a sudden you're, you know, 15 yards down the field, moving and uh, maybe have a little bit of momentum as opposed to being third and whatever we were, 10 or 12, and now same thing. Now you let them just pin their ears and come after you. So, uh, and, and not that we handled it well, that, that play, but it's, it's, you know, it's bigger than just, you know, like, okay, one series. I mean, you look at the details of things, and, but that's how close football is, and that, that's why it's important, you know, you execute as well as you can on every play because the ramifications of a, a sack on second and three, it just really compounds a tough situation already. So. You know, if, if we're going to get over the hump, that's what we got to do. You know, we got to learn from those kind of things and, and be better and sharper next time. <laughs>